And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kassarian, and welcome back to another episode of Modded Minecraft. All right, folks, so let's take a look at what we're doing today. Uh, we need a few planters, actually. Yep, we need planters. That's fine. That's pretty cool. Um, I believe that also means that we need some clay. <clears throat> let's just take half a stack for right now, and let's just cook that up. Because that's probably going to be easier than doing anything else. Okay, we're also going to need to check out our plastic reserves. We don't have much left. Let's check out our rubber reserves. We should have plenty of that laying around. Look at that. We absolutely do. All right, so let's just chunk this in here for future usage. All right, so that's cooking down quite nicely. Now, do I have any... Yeah, okay, I do. I don't have any sheets. So let's look at the planter... Uh, flower pots, pistons. So I'm going to need at least three pistons. All right, that's not too, too bad. Get me three pistons, please. And we should be... Oh, you're cooking down raw rubber, huh? All right, let's do this then. Full stop. Full stop. I need plastic, not raw rubber. There we go. Much better. Okay, so let's take a look at plastic. Good. We should be able to make some sheets out of that. Good. All right, so let's look at that planter now. Oh, right. Okay. Need flower pots. Two, three, four, five, six. Planter. One, two. We're already out of machine casings? Oh, I guess that does make sense, doesn't it? All right, there we get that. So now we're going to need some more sheets. Of course. And we're going to need, let's see, some harvesters. How about that? Harvesters. Just some shears. One, two, three. Oh, and yet again, we need some of these and one of these. Beautiful. Okay, let's check out our conduit supplies. We'll grab some of this. We got some of that. We're going to need at least one interface here. Bingo. And we're also going to need some pressurized fluid conduits. Okay. And let's take a look now, shall we? All right, so basically what we're doing is we are turning this into a tree farm, okay? Pretty simple. Pretty simple indeed. All right, so what basically all we're going to be doing here, and you do notice there is a slight issue. What's that below me, you ask? <laughs> That's a pretty good question. Basically what that is, is that's my power gem, which we may or may not actually get to this episode. It is for rotary craft, and which means it's hydrokinetic, basically. Um, but we're going to be transporting that power in a bit of an interesting way here. One, two, three. One, two, there. I don't know why it didn't look like I was doing it properly, but I don't know. All right, so we're going to have to drop downstairs for a minute to actually get this done. Thank you. Oh, right. So originally the water was going to come down through that central shaft right there, but I ended up actually deciding against it for a variety of reasons. Um, those include, but are not limited to, the fact that basically... All right, so we're going to have to go one level lower here. Those include, but aren't limited to the fact that I kind of didn't want to have to deal with... Um, it wasn't going to work out because I made those five wide instead of four. And while I could have just had an air block there or a water block that didn't do anything, I didn't especially want to deal with it. Um, lazy of me, I'll admit. So one, two, center. Okay. I just, I didn't really want to deal with it. Right, right. Okay, so now let's turn ourselves into a bat. Let's actually wait until we get small enough to actually do something as a bat. And this is the problem. One, two, there. Okay, good. All right, so now we need to run power. 
let's break that and break this and break this. Okay. So let's run power now. And all right, so that's there. We're gonna have to run items, and I think I forgot my item ducts, didn't I? No, they're in here. Okay. This is nice about taking apart an entire base. You have plenty of space to do this stuff in. Okay, so let's do that. Nope, that's not, most definitely not what I wanted you to be doing. All right, there you go. Sometimes as bats, it this can be a little difficult, all right? Oh, okay, so those are coming in as items. So that goes like that, and then we plug this guy in like so. And we're also going to need our pressurized fluid conduits, which I know I grabbed. There y'all are. And we'll hook these guys in like this. And those all go to there. So you guys can see why this is actually great. Zoom stack goes to off. Right? Right. And let's look at this thing. Okay, you're in insert mode. Your priority is zero. We're going to give you an item filter. We're going to clear that filter. Right? Right. We're going to come over to here. Of course, I'm forgetting to do things I should be doing while I'm doing this. Uh, why? Why are you not connecting? You should be connecting. Oh, right, because these are... These do not need pressurized fluid conduits. Though it's good to have them. They actually only need to run to there. And while we're at it, let's do that. Let's put that there, that there, and that there. And we'll do the same thing right here. We'll go item conduit, energy conduit, pressurized fluid conduit. Okay, much better. So we'll go back to this guy. We'll switch you to insert. Priority channel one green with an item filter. Okay. And actually, we need to fix something here because that doesn't work. We need to go like that. And we need to go like that. But you guys can see why this is such a good thing to have, right? Right. Okay, so that's hooked up. That's hooked up. Your priority one. Okay, good. So the last thing we need to do is put our last planter into place. Which goes one, two, there. We have to go with an item conduit, and let's do you to insert channel one with an item filter. And we also need power going into that. Like so. And we'll get our item conduits in like so. Make sure you're set good. Okay, and then we need, let's see, we'll put that there and that there will break this, we need that, and that. Perfect. Okay. So now let's get upstairs and let's take a look at all this. Um, you know what? I'm just going to put a hole in the floor right there to allow easy access. Okay. So now let's turn back into us and let's get out our harvesters. Okay. So we're just going to place our harvesters down like that, like that, and like that. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to get ourselves a couple chests. Three chests should do the trick quite nicely, in fact. So, chest. <clears throat> I need three of them. Eins, zwei, drei. Done. Alright. So this should be fairly simple to do. We're just going to go like that, like that, and like this. Okay, so those are now in place. Good. We just need to break these blocks in here. And good. Now we need to make one more set of things. All right. We need to make six lapis upgrades. Okay. Lapis upgrades? Lapis upgrades. And why do you keep going back to number? All right. So let's look at lapis upgrades. One, two, three, four, five.
And this will be six. Six. Beautiful. Okay. So now we just have to upgrade all these machines. All right. Should be fairly simple. Uh, where did I get that? That. And this. Then we'll drop down into the basement again. We can do this. Consume stack off. This. And this. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put that guy there. Active without signal. Right? Right. Put this guy here. And we'll tell him that he is also active without signal. And then we'll put this guy here. And he is also active without signal. Okay, good. Beautiful. All right. So we also don't need, if I can find my wrench again, we don't need that. 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 Oh, wait, we do need it, right? Okay, doing this in bat mode has to be one of the most pain in the rear end things I've ever done. Okay, we need you. There. And then we need item conduits like that. You're still an extract active without signal. Oh, no, wait. Insert priority one with an item upgrade in there. Perfect. Okay. Now what? Good question. Here's what we're going to do. Let's drop down a little bit. And let's go... We don't actually... No, we need to go up. That's right. We didn't need to drop down. We need to go up. Because, as you can see, I put an ME terminal right over here. Okay. Now what do we need? Now we need all of our saplings. All right. Let's get oak saplings, rubber saplings, maple... Uh, more oak saplings, rubber saplings, spruce, and that should be fine. So we're going to put one of each back in the system. Okay. Because we'll need them later. Okay, good. So here's what we're going to do now. Okie dokie. Uh, we need to get back downstairs for this. Uh, up and down and up and down and up and down and Kess is going to give himself a migraine. Okay, so this guy is going to be rubber and maple. Uh, huh. Uh huh. There we go. So rubber and maple, and we want rubber in there too. So we have consume sack mode set to off. So we have rubber and maple. Oh, you're not getting any power because you're not actually connected to the main network. That's right. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Let's play which way does the power come out. Um, around the back, I think? Yeah, okay. Connect that up and connect that up. Bingo. So we should see these things getting planted now. Perfect. Okay. So then you are rubber and maple. All right. We can fill the rest of this with cobblestone. Or not. Because we don't want more than a certain amount going in there. Right? Right. So we have to fill this inventory with cobble so nothing else can go in there. Beautiful. And it says consume stack off, so it's not going to matter. Great. So then we just have to say... Rubber and maple on the item filter. Rubber sapling and a maple sapling. Right? Right. We put him in and him in. Beautiful. Okay. So then we're going to slip underneath here. I'm going to open this guy up. And I'm going to tell him consume stack mode off. And he's just going to be oak saplings. All right. Just oak. And we'll put that stack in there. And we'll block all of that off as well. Okay. 
All right, and the rest of that oak we'll do something with. I don't know. Let me just check something here. Uh, are you... Oh, right. Oak saplings. Technically, as long as the inventory is full, I don't need to do this, but I prefer to. And then we'll code this guy with spruce. Consume stack off. Put some spruce in there. And we will close the rest of that off, okay? And yeah, it'll give us a lot of spruce. I'll find some more saplings, but that's fine. That's just fine. Let me steal the spruce for a second here. And we'll put that in there. And we'll put that up there. Perfect. Now let me just check these settings. Good. So now in theory, if I go back upstairs, this should be running. You can see the saplings are automatically getting pulled away. Okay, why aren't you planting... Maple saplings. You should be planting the maple saplings. And yet, you are not. Unless they're added by rotary craft, in which case they're not going to let them go. And doesn't want to go. Okay. So I guess that'll just be rubber then. That's fine. We could just do rubber in there. We'll close that off. And we'll say rubber saplings all the way. And we'll put the rest of our rubber saplings in there. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. So quick and easy tree farm. Now, if you notice, none of this is being pushed into our primary network yet. Right? Right. And we're going to have to fix that. Right? Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into the floor, I think right about here. And we'll put our ME interface in right there. Okay? And then let's drop downstairs a little bit. Yoink. And let's take a look down here. You notice I saw my ME conduit on me. Ha ha. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my ME conduit. Are you already transformed there? Yes, you are. Good. So we can just run it simultaneous with our power line. All the way across. And there we go. Yeah, in bat mode, I think it's when you're jumping and doing something else. It doesn't really like you. So we'll go all the way over to here. Yeah, when it did that for a second, I thought I connected something weird and, you know. And we'll put an item conduit right there. And we'll tell... Th Are you for real? Thank you. Alright, let's get an empty hand here. There we go. And we're going to tell it to insert priority zero. So it's going to try and put into anything else on this line first, and then it'll give it to us. Okay. And let's also get some pressurized fluid conduits, and we'll run them back like so. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the rear end. Huh. Nope. Insert priority zero. Good. Okay. Nope. All right, so there's already one on that line then. All right, we're going to have to get back into human form for this. This is going to be a pain in the rear end to work with. I hate these sorts of work platforms, but it's about all I can do right now. Okay, connect you up, connect you up and connect you up. Good? Good. And then we're going to connect you, you, oh, this is a pain in the rear end right now. There needs to be a better way to manage this.
because otherwise it turns into this fiasco. There you go. Yank that entire thing off. Connect that. Okay, good. All right, so here's what we'll do. There. Oh. Well then. Okay. Then, now, we can connect this thing there. We can connect this thing there. And we can connect this thing there. Insert priority zero. Ha! <sighs> And we'll connect this entire rest of this line back like this. And this is going to carry the sludge that those harvesters are going to build up all the way back to here. Okay. Good. Good. I should push this around. You can bring him. Pain in the rear end. God, you stupid jerk. Okay. Fluid line. Link that. Good. ME conduit. Have fun. Energy conduit. Boom. There we go. Everything's working now. Yay. Okay. So what should be happening is when things get processed through, they will wind up back in our ME system. And how are you doing? You're staying charged. I don't know if this will stress the line at all, but we'll see. Okay. So that's done. What's next? I'm running out of time already. Uh, great. Absolutely great. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to make some biofuel. 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 That's right, kids. Biofuel. Now, it's going to be a little bit weird for right now because none of this stuff's going to be showing up, and I need a hoe because I think that's one of the reasons these things are generating so slowly. H-O-E. Hoe. Iron hoe. Which I think I actually picked it up which I think I initially actually picked it up for the sake of scanning it for something. Yeah, it'll, by the way, the planters will actually plant on this junk, but it'll get kind of grouchy, okay? And by kind of grouchy, I mean pretty darn grouchy. Grouchy, 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 grouchy. All right, so we're gonna start in a couple seconds. Once I get this whole thing sorted out. I'm actually very happy that this plays nicely together. Oh, that used that up already, huh? Alright, well, let's get another one. Thank you. I apologize, by the way, but... Much better. Okay. Now I just have to go back downstairs and take care of this. Doink. Now, because I don't have that stupid water system going, it's not going to be as big of an issue here. You can see I can actually get at these things quite nicely. Okay. I need some tomato seeds and some celery seeds. Which I don't seem to have any of. Okay. And this is zucchini and oats. Zucchini and oats. And then this means that this one should be soybeans and kiwi. Haha. -ha. Oh, well then. That's strange. I thought I'd remember to do that. That's a little better. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, so those are all connected now. Good, except for this one. There we go. That's my alarm telling me that I'm out of time for the episode. But before we do that, 
let's jump upstairs. By the way, those crops over here, I will be connecting these guys to, um, oh gosh, C's factory manager. Yeah. Okay, so last thing we're going to do, let's look at a biofuel. Biofuel. In the bioreactor. Great bioreactors. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. Fermented. Okay. Can we do this? Hey, look at that. Okay. And can we do this? We just need some more factory machine blocks. All right. So it looks like we're getting two of these for right now. All right. So basically the way these bioreactors work is that they require... There we go. They require um, a variety of materials. And with that variety of materials... Where's my emmy line? There it is. With that variety of materials, they actually create cool stuff. By the way, you just saw a bit of a sneak peek of a, another episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into here. Let me torch this up a little bit. And one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three. Into there. Perfect. So let me just show you this really quite quickly. Now, I don't think the bioreactors require power. I don't think they do. So let me put these two down. Do you? No, you don't. Okay. So basically what we do is we have to put a bunch of different variety of junk in there. Okay. And this is actually a fantastic job for our good friend, our AE system. So we're going to have to run a line down here. And this is actually going to be my general... Um, my general one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is gonna be my um, uh, fuel production. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Nice and easy. So this is gonna be my general production room, all right? My refinery room, processing room for all my fuel east things, okay? Which I think will be pretty cool to have that all centralized in one location. This should be on my hotbar. But that'll have to wait for a future episode because it took us way too long to get that entire facility upstairs set up. So guys, this has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank y'all for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me do redo something I've already done, but that's neither here nor there. So I'll see you in the next episode. We'll hopefully get production over here started. See you then.